Hi. Hello everyone, it's Kendall here. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is up home skillet biscuit? I feel like my energy is gonna be like up and down because I'm my coffee hasn't sunk in like all the way, but hi, what's up, how you doing? Today is long overdue. I wanna be uh, the very best. <laughs> I wanna be a webtoon main character. Because I feel like I got cheated, here's why. For those of you who don't know what a what a webtoon is, it's basically like an online comic book. I think they were popularized in Korea. The only people I ever hear talking about them are Koreans or people that are related, that like Korean related things, so I don't know. I don't know, but anyway, uh, they're bomb. Um, they tend to follow a lot of tropes though, of like television and anime, slice of life, if you will. The thing about reading manga though, I used to do it a lot, but I got old and my eyes ain't as good as they used to be and I, I just can't read non-colored pages. <laughs> so now I'm more of a webtoon type girl cause I got old and they're usually in full color. And then I discovered this webtoon called Yoshin Kangnim or True Beauty, which basically is like the first half of my life. I felt like I never got my like webtoon arc, you know? It's the story of this girl named Im Ju Gyeong. I don't know why it's so hard to say her name in it's entirely. I Ju Gyeong Im, is that easier to say? Im Ju Gyeong, whatever. Um, it's about her. She's this awkward, not particularly conventionally attractive. She really likes like aggressive rock. She listens to Linkin Park and everyone thinks it's weird. She reads horror manga. She's just, she's just weird as hell. And yo! <laughs> I felt personally attacked because that was me. <laughs> I was a little weird looking. I was weird like as a person. I'm still pretty weird, but I've calmed down a lot. By the way, by the way, I, n I did not forget the high school pictures. Y'all still commenting on that video to this day saying we got to the likes. I did not forget. I just need to be emotionally prepared because it's a lot for me. Y'all don't y'all don't know what I go through looking at those pictures. <laughs> but yeah, she's kind of weird. And right before high school, she discovers these things called YouTube makeup tutorials. Outside of her being Korean and, and fictional, this is me. But then her her life took the like story arc, right? She looks better, she gets treated better. And of course, suddenly she gets thrown into a love triangle, get thrown into an upwind of adventure. None of that second part happened <laughs> for me. I just look marginally better. It feels like looking at what my life would have been if I would have like followed the path of looking decent every day. I think she does social media though, so that's not that different. <laughs> well, I have my love triangle, even though those sound annoying. One of the cool things about True Beauty is that there are actual like mini tutorials in it. Isn't it adorable? So I'm gonna be following a few of those today and it'll be a lot of fun. First things first, outside of me being the realist, is that you need to put on circle lenses. Now, I have mine on already because I am literally blind without them. What contact lenses I wear is probably the most common question I get and the most common question I forget to answer. I don't know why. I think it's partially because I half of the time don't know because I forget. I just open these so I know. These are the Silicos from Neo Vision. These are the Pop Brown if I'm not mistaken. I get mine from Honey Color. A lot of people ask me. I do have a coupon code. It's not, it's not commissioned by any means. I don't even know if it works. It might be expired, but if it works, it's down in the description box. If it don't work, then let me know and I'll just delete it because I don't you know. But that's where I buy them. So there's that, I can see now. Next up is eyebrows. Now, one of the first things that Ju Gyeong does to de-ugly herself is to um, shave her eyebrows off. I don't think that was on purpose, but. And as much as I, I think accuracy is a kink, I am not, mm. I messed up my eyebrows a few months ago and I'm never going back to that. That was the darkest depression I've ever been in. You wanna know an existential crisis? Have halfway decent something on your face and suddenly they get screwed up. So I'm just gonna go in with my little flamingo here. This is a Etude House shaver. This one's getting a little dull though, so I might need to get a new one. But I'm just gonna clean up the brows. Another thing that she did was put on double eyelid glue. Obviously, I'm not gonna do that for a load of reasons. One, I'm black. And also, I'm a black person with double eyelid. It's a, it's a neon for me, dog. That was a bad joke. Anyway, I do wonder if you have hooded eyelids, would double eyelid tape help that? Has anyone ever tried that? So next, I'm just gonna go into eyebrows. I think I'm gonna try to flatten my eyebrows out because I do have naturally quite a distinct arch but if i brush my eyebrow hairs so that they're kind of separated from each other it does kind of flatten that that arch out so that they look more straight then i'm just gonna fill in any sparse areas because it's gonna be where 
I like separated my hairs basically and then flattened this arch a little bit. I don't know if I like straight eyebrows on me. I never, I never had super straight eyebrows, but I just, I just feel like my face shape. I look like a literal egg. Jigyoung uses like a CC, like a color correcting cushion. And the only one I have is this one from Triotica. It's in color 23. For those of you that are not familiar with Korean cosmetics, 23 is uh, not me, but I'm gonna be using it as like a base. And in fairness, it might just make it go like white out. So. I know it's gonna be hard to take me seriously for a few minutes, but uh, try to. Next up is actually concealer. I don't think I've ever done my concealer before foundation. I know some people do it. I just never think to do it. Chu Young is actually using theater concealer, which surprisingly I do not have. That's something that I would have collected over the years. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna just put a little bit of this NARS soft matte under my eyes. It's like a thicker pot concealer. So I don't really buy a whole lot of like super high coverage concealers anymore. Cause they just, they just look too heavy under the eyes. This is about as a, uh, it's about as thick as I go. And this by no means is the thickest. I'm gonna warm it up a little bit on the back of my hand. Okay. All right, going in with cushion because we desperately need it. This is the Diva cushion. And the color I'm using right now is 480R. Under concealer thing actually isn't too bad. <laughs> now Chu Young didn't say to do this, but I'm gonna do it because I know that I'm gonna crease like a mofo. So just going in with a little bit of loose powder. Okay, going in with a little bit of a brown shadow. I'm just gonna use a bronzer because here it is. I'm putting that on my eyelid for just a little bit of soft definition. There's a fly in here that just wants to just say this is my house now and I've been trying to kill it for days. So if you see it, I guess introduce yourself considering he's the new proprietor of this establishment. I'm gonna do a little bit of a heel, just a little bit under the eye. She also didn't say to contour your nose, but I don't have a nose, so I'm trying to, okay. Cause like, I literally have no nose if I put on makeup because it, all, of, all of my very little nose bridge goes away. She also didn't say to do shading either. Just a little bit. She drawn on. She's naturally perfectly defined cause she's fictional. Little bit of brown liquid liner. Like a super thin thin line. I'm just following the line of my eye and just kind of going straight out. Maybe even a little down. I really like this liner, by the way. How appropriately named this is the illustrative eyeliner. That felt like I was drawing like ink lines on a on a picture. That was, that was pretty dope. Shout out to M Cosmetics. That was actually fire. <laughs> Probably should have did my eyebrows after foundation. Time to curl my lashes, which I never do when I just have like my natural lashes. I have curly hair, so they kind of curl anyway. My eye does look more open and I've yet to have my adequate amount of coffee today, so. Hey, <laughs> mascara. This is Benefit Roller Lash. I just started trying this. A little bit of a coral blush. This is from Misha. This is in Pink Village. Just using the same brush that I use my bronzer with. I used with my bronzer. English? Okay. I find that that just helps it blend in better. Oh, that's so pretty. That's a pretty color. I've heard tutorials tend to have like coral lips or like coral and deep rose lips or both together. So I'm just like mixing two looks together. I'm gonna go in with this glossy tint. This is a water light tint from a Pew, I think. A Pew. Murugang tint in CRO2. If you've never used like a gloss tint, they have a very interesting texture. It's like, it's like a gloss, but it kind of makes like a film on your mouth. That's a pretty color. That's a really pretty color. That's a real pretty color. Okay. Then these Roman, these are the Zero Velvet tints. I feel like I've been using this in like every video for the last, or have I? Or just like every time I do my makeup, I just feel like I'm using them. Anyway, I'm gonna use two of them. This is number 10, which is Fever. Eight, which is Icy. Leaning on the purpley side of like Maling Changmi. Fever first, cause that's our like more coralish color. And put that in the middle. Oh, 
that's really pretty. <laughs> Yo, that's pretty. Okay, wait. Do I even want to add this one? Well, she does do like the baling tummy, like the dried rose. But that's about to be my new favorite lip combo. That's that's fire. Nope, don't regret that. That's a lip. There you go. Lip's done. One song. Good. I'm gonna go pop my wig on. One eternity later. And boom. There you have it. Gotta say, this lip combo, fire. Bang. It's so pretty. And I'm so happy I did this. Also, kind of feel like I'm gonna be doing that under concealer thing again. Maybe I'll do both. Like under and over because i feel like it just looks so like not natural because i do look like i got makeup on but like it just blended better under my eye and here i am ready to walk into my super eventful life that i'm undoubtedly gonna have because this was all it took <laughs> this is all she had to do so here we go and with that said if you haven't read true beauty yet highly recommend it's a lot of fun it's very very interesting and it hit me in the heart because it understands my struggles of being a weirdo and also someone that's really into makeup. If you like this video, don't forget to like this video. Follow me on all my social media, Instagram and Twitter, both of which are Kenny JD, and I'll see you guys on Saturday. Bye.